In the early 1970s, Berkeley's university was sued for sexual discrimination based on this statistic. 44% of male applicants got accepted, whereas only 35% of female applicants got accepted. Furthermore, there is less than a 1 in 10,000 chance that this 10% gender gap is due to chance. The question is, can you say this is evidence of sexism? It all seems quite convincing. But what if I told you that in the above case, it was actually the males who were getting discriminated against? To show you, let's break it down into the separate departments. The thing to note is that in most departments, it was actually women who were more likely to be admitted. And yet strangely, when you take the average, the opposite seems true. What's going on? Well, the answer is actually hidden in plain sight. Pause this video to see if you can figure it out. Okay, so the problem is, we saw a 10% gap and immediately assumed it was due to gender discrimination. But the real reason was that women tend to apply for courses which are harder to get into, whereas males apply for courses which are easier. As such, women were getting rejected more often. For example, take a look at Department A compared to E. A has a much higher acceptance rate than E. Yet, compared to men, women are shying away from A and flocking to E. This phenomenon, in which trends against different groups disappear or even reverse when averaged, is called the Simpsons Paradox. Here's another example. Look at this data on death penalties in Florida. 4.8% of white suspects got the death sentence, compared to 2.5% of black suspects. Now, you can imagine people who believe racism doesn't exist using this statistic in a debate. They could argue that if there's any bias, it's against the white suspects, right? But let's break it down based on the victim's and suspect's race. So, in the top left corner, when a white suspect kills a white person, 4.9% of them got sentenced to death. However, in the bottom left corner, when a black suspect kills a white person, 12.6% of them got sentenced to death. Another important thing to notice is that when a white person was killed, the sentences were harsher compared to when a black person was killed. This all suggests that there is racial bias within the justice system. Yet, once again, the overall averages say the complete opposite. So, what's going on here? Well, white people tend to kill other white people, whereas black people tend to kill other black people. Therefore, since cases with white victims got harsher sentences, on average, white suspects got a higher percentage of death sentences. Now, the Simpsons paradox is merely one way statistics can mislead you. There are countless more, and at this point, a lot of people get disheartened and take this to mean we shouldn't trust statistics at all. But all this really means is that the general public needs to get a better grasp of statistics before they are bombarded with stats from news outlets, politicians, and infographics. The Simpsons paradox is simply a demonstration of just how easily numbers can deceive us. By the way guys, I've recently set up a Patreon account, so if you like my stuff and want to see more, then go check it out.